Hey guys, welcome back to Bartlett Arbor Supply. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the floating anchor for SRS. Uh, before we do, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, but let's dig right in. So I picked this up at a show from a very talented climber. Uh, he was showing it to me. I went out and experimented with it and it worked for me in certain applications. So in my experience with it and what he, what the info that was relayed to me, it, it depends on how you redirect. So. For me, I only took about two redirects and I was able to fairly, uh, I was able to retrieve it, retrieve it fairly easily. Um, but, uh, so what you would need is about a 28 mil ring and a carabiner. All right, and if you do have a splice die, you have to be mindful of how you, of what side you're using. I would say a Sonai would not be ideal just because of the width or the thickness of it. Uh, but, so that's, from my experiences, just figured I'd share that. So you would install the ring on here first, then get your throw line, hook all that up, which I already have a suitable union set up top, and we begin the pull to get this installed. Now, pull that through, and she comes down. So that's a couple of the first steps. Next thing we look at doing is we're going to take the ring that was already we have pre-installed onto the rope and we're going to mash that rope back through it. So you do have to measure out on the ground how it's going to fare out for you on, on rope length and the climb. So if you have a short climb, you may be pulling most of this rope depending on how you set everything up. So it all matters. It's all got its pros and cons. So I'm gonna use about that much for this one. And I'm gonna stop at here and at a stop or not underneath the ring. So you got a butterfly. Take our carabiner, step one there, capture the loop, capture that running leg. So now what I'm gonna do is this goes up and it's gonna choke. So it is retrievable from the ground. And it's set, we're ready to climb. And I am gonna go up there and drop through one redirect and we're gonna show why it's called a floating anchor. Uh, floating anchor is because the ring will actually stay mid-air as you begin to pull everything down so the ring doesn't come down all the way to the ground yet. Um, and I will talk about something else when I do that. So, away I go. All right, so as I mentioned before, we took that little quick cut. I went up, dropped through a redirect, and as I mentioned before, for me, this is perfect for one, maybe two redirects. Um, now you'll see why it's called the floating. As I begin to pull, I'm gonna come to my butterfly is gonna come down to me, but the anchor, the ring, will still stay up top and it floats up in the canopy. So right now, I'm gonna start pulling my whole system out and down. So as the whole system comes down, the alpine butterfly comes down to me and I can, you can either leave it in there or you can choose to take it off. Me personally, I like taking the knot off and the ring is still floating up top and then I can continue to pull everything down. There relatively is some drag in the system, but it's not entirely crazy. And now, as you can see, it's still floating. And if I wiggle this, because I'm concerned with how it's gonna fall, the ring will travel slowly to you, or you can continue to pull. And like I mentioned, be mindful if you do have a spliced eye or a sonai, because it, it may cause you some problems. So that's a quick heads up for you. Other than that, it's perfectly well uh, an acceptable SRS canopy anchor. Um, if you've done something like this before, drop some comments down. Let us know what you think, what you thought about it. And, um, yeah, hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for checking us out.